Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It's a relatively quiet morning for right now. We do have, again, some possible areas of more showers expected as we go into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have plans for outdoors, definitely want to think about keeping the umbrella handy because we will be seeing more of those chances of rainfall out across much of the area. We don't have, again, anything in the way of severe weather. It's definitely not thunderstorms. We can bet on that. And also no flash flooding is going to be expected uh, into the course of the rest of the day today. So that's something to consider. But the umbrella, again, would not be such a bad idea to go ahead and have that handy just to be on the safe side. Rest of the week, again, off and on chances of showers and thunderstorms. We'll take a look at the extended forecast coming up here in just a little bit. If you got questions, drop them into the comments section. We'd love to know more about where you're from, what's going on out there, where it comes to anything involving uh, your current conditions out across the Mid-South. So please let us know more about what you're seeing out there for that. If you've never been here before, again, this is what you're looking at. The forecast information here on the bar of the lower portion of your screen uh, into and around the area here. That's, again, where we're seeing the uh, information showing up with, again, the forecast data, if you'd like to see more about that. And, again, social media information all around the page at this time and more details to follow where it comes to a lot more on the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and get started with a few of our webcams across the area, welcoming in all of our Facebook viewers for this morning as well. Look Rock camera from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Beautiful view of some of the foliage down below. A little bit of fog obscuring some of the peaks beyond. A little bit farther to the west, winter has fallen pretty heavily into the Rockies, especially the upper portions of the Rockies. This from Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado with several inches of snow and some fairly low visibility out a little bit farther away from this camera out that direction. National Mall in Washington, D.C. Sunrise this morning morning was beautiful for as long as it lasted, but unfortunately clouds did a pretty good job of obscuring that into the day. A little bit closer to the Mid-South area, heavy overcast across much of the area for this morning. Traffic live moving along quite nicely on our Hilton East Memphis camera for right now. And also on the foggy side, not seeing, well, not seeing too much fog, but cloudy side out there. Looking back toward Germantown Parkway, I-40, back to around the area toward Lakeland and Arlington off into the distance. Again, mostly cloudy skies overhead and likewise pretty overcast into around downtown Memphis from our tower cam. Let me move that cursor out of the way. That thing's starting to bother me there. Here's what it looks like again throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, this is what we're going to be expecting for today. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 50s for the most part. We do see again the potential for those showers sticking around in some portion out there. Not great chances, but still possible. So the umbrella and the windshield wipers may come in handy at some point in time as well. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be heading down the roadway anytime soon. Radar at this time, Storm Tracker 3S is showing light speckles across Shelby County. The heaviest activity by far is into northern parts of Mississippi, into around portions of southeastern Arkansas monitoring four different computers here so give me just a second to move this over here storm tracker 3s again showing the heaviest amount of rainfall going over north central mississippi from the mississippi river which is again back over in this direction here and making its way back to the east at about 25 miles per hour so not a great amount of rain but just enough to mess up your windshield so if you're traveling this morning that could again be just a bit of a problem out there north of i-40 not that much going on very light sprinkles detected from time to time between Brownsville and Mark Tree, Arkansas. Also, it looks like a little bit of activity trying to pop up around the Mississippi River, south of Osceola and north of Millington. Beyond that, again, it's a decently quiet morning. Hopefully, we'll be staying that way. <clears throat> Excuse me, but as we go into the rest of the morning, could be looking at some more of these speckles out across portions of the Mid South. So something to think about there. Rest of the day today, pardon the camera wobbles. I got to keep track of what's going on here and get the camera to stop from going back to. Uh, idle status there. Rest of the morning, again, where the spotty showers are concerned, this is where the rainfall chances will be throughout the course of the rest of the morning and into the rest of the afternoon. Notice the winds over here start switching a little bit back toward the north and the west here in advance of our next cold front out of the southwest. That's going to be the front that brings in some drier air to the area, and that's going to chase away a lot of the rainfall into this afternoon. So after about, say, uh, dinner time tonight, that's going to be it for the chances of rainfall across much of the area. And by News Channel 3 at 10, 
Most of the rain should be east of the Mississippi River heading over into southwest middle Tennessee, and that's pretty much going to be it for the rain chances out there. Now, tomorrow morning for the kids at the bus stop, it is going to be pretty chilly by the time school starts tomorrow, and looking again at numbers in the high 30s to round about the lower 40s out across much of the area, so this could again be something for the kids to make sure that they are properly dressed. Uh, very chilly out there into the early morning hours, but also could be seeing the possibility of some fog as well, so stay tuned for more on that. Going into the extended forecast a little bit farther out, we're going to be seeing again chances of showers and thunderstorms with a new storm system making its way through the midsection of the country by about Wednesday. Going into around Saturday, we start to see a lot more moisture piling up from the Gulf of Mexico and a new cold front coming on through by about Saturday morning. Now, going after Saturday morning into the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, we were watching a couple of days ago as moisture from the Gulf of Mexico moved up this direction and combined with colder air coming down from the north, which made for the possibility slim as though it may be this far out of some frozen precipitation like snow, freezing rain, stuff like that from around, say, Columbia, Jeff City, Missouri, down to around Lexington, Nashville, back into Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. It wasn't much, but it was, again, still possible. Now, for right now, the storm system, again, seems to have split a little bit. The storm system bringing moisture up our direction seems to be staying down to our south, but then some of this could be making its way up into the Mid-South later on, and colder air dropping its way southward could be giving us some changes out there. I'm going to put in a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms as this moisture comes up our direction into the Mid-South by the time we hit there. By the time we get into around next Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving, again, could be some lake effect snow, uh, colder, breezier conditions here. Storm system off the East Coast could be, again, bringing more moisture up this direction. So if you are traveling from, say, Minneapolis back toward New York, that could be something to watch. Or from, say, Dallas down to around Houston and west of Florida. This storm system could also be something to pay attention to out there. More of your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. We'll be finishing that up here in just a little bit. Showers today dwindling as we head into this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures for tonight. We'll be back into the lower 40s, and again, could be some patchy fog out there this evening as well. Partly cloudy to mostly clear, varying between that early Monday, but then clearing out through Monday. Tuesday, temperatures back into the lower 60s, and again, very pleasant conditions out there as well. Rainfall returns to the Mid-South as we go to about Wednesday. It's not great chances, but, you know... We'll put those in the forecast anyway for right now. Chances really start to ramp up Friday into Saturday, and that means Friday night football for any uh, playoff games that are going on out there for the prep crowds. Uh, that could be a bit of a problem, so that could be something we need to watch. And then also, again, on Saturday, more chances of showers and thunderstorms there. Clearing out for Sunday into Monday, and then going into Tuesday, i am really ramped up the chances of showers and thunderstorms for now, but given that this is 10 days in the future, this is really going to be changing over the next several days. So this could be something that we really need to watch on there. Thanks to, again, if you are traveling, especially keep an eye on that. Savcap123 on Twitter. Beautiful sunset last night looking through the superstructure of the Hernando de Soto Bridge. Thank you very much for that. James R. Gulledge from around Milan, Tennessee. Beautiful view of some autumnal leaves taking place there. And also Tamara Theobald from around W.C. Johnson Park in Collierville. Thank you very much for a beautiful sunlit view of some of the trees in and around the Collierville area. Really do appreciate that. Thanks for sending that in. If you've got something to show, please let us know. We'd love to be able to, to feature them on Daybreak or our News Channel 3 newscast or on social media. Just send them to aonic underscore WRAG3. Also on Instagram, also on Facebook, also on many other sources as well. But again, too many to list at this point in time. Can't catch our forecast throughout the rest of the day today because you're off the computer or traveling and you can't watch it on TV. That's okay. Listen Listen to us on the radio, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3. My complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend there. And, of course, Todd Demers will take over on that tomorrow morning. And don't forget, I'll be on with Bob and Josh as well starting 8 a.m. on Monday with Talk Back Live. If you'd like to hear more about that, a.m. 730 or 
talkbacklivenetwork.org. Another check of your complete forecast will be coming up again on News Channel 3 Daybreak in just a few minutes. Nina Harrelson wrapping up the show with some news. Mike Sadie with sports. And I'll have more on your weather forecast into the rest of the week live in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody for tuning in on Facebook this morning. And stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend on air and online.